They'll go out of an empty set with a redshirt freshman quarterback. Hill finds Trey Carson up to the 38. Let's get to City State. Hill from the 42-yard line has time in the pocket. Deep throw. And it's pulled in at the 30-yard. Johnny Manziel's replacement at the quarterback spot. That pass a little behind in total offense. Hill off the pump fake. And a low pass is pulled in by Trey Carson, Brandon Williams, and now Trey Williams. But it's a quick pass, and it's a touchdown for Josh Reynolds. Hill with a quick toss, and a good play in the open field to Seals Jones. Motioning out of the backfield there was Trey Williams. Another pass to Seals Jones. Another drop, seventh in the nation. Hill on third and long with time, and wide open to the sideline, but unable to make the catch. On the cusp of the red zone, he a run play to Brandon Williams, and Williams cuts it upfield and gets positive yardage. After the one yard gain, Hill to the air, through the hands of Seals. On third and long, Hill with a ton of time, and that one is right at the first down mark. Play clock inside five. Here's Carson, hit in the backfield, no running room. Misses at the line of scrimmage that Beniquas Brown hits perfectly, but when you're in short yarded situations, you want your lineman just to cut. Texas A&M backed up inside its 10, and the Aggies will run the football. Trey Carson takes a defender along. Hill will throw. Sideline pass is caught by Seals Jones for a first down. Wrapped up at the 21. To as much as they require these AM receivers. Carson will run here, met in the hole, and brought down at pass so far. Another pass play with time. Now Hill takes off and able to break a tackle and get the first down. Run out of quick throw to the flat. Man who caught the touchdown, Reynolds, and a good open field. Second down and six. Hill, a long throw that's dropped. Pizza. He did it to Alabama. Hill stepping up in the traffic, but it's dropped. Almost caught by Reynolds. 9 of 14. A touchdown pass. Had a little trouble with the snap there, so he just takes off. And Hill slammed down. The ball comes out at the 40. Kennedy's been a security blanket. Another high snap for Hill in trouble. And Hill is brought down for a sack. He doesn't just play Mike linebacker. He comes out in rush situations. He's on Obwehi there. Obwehi just takes a bad set. You don't see that very often from him. And out. Third down and seven. Pump fake by Hill. Being chased. Pumps again. And then throws low. Here, Reese, it's 21 7. Texas AM with the ball back, and they'll run it on first down. And across the 30. Now Hill to throw, and wide open is Niederhofer. Good to see him back out there after he took a big shot. Eight minutes to go here in the second quarter. Hill, and over the middle is Niederhofer. Gets about eight. Hill finds Reynolds trying to fist fight with the defender, Matt. Hill again with good protection. Tried to dump it off, and the pass, 319 yards. A lot of that's misleading, though, as Hill rolls out and finds two defenders. But, boy, look at him turn on the Jets as he reverses field inside the 40-yard line. Got the first down. Game. They didn't expect this from Kenny Hill. Well, Trey Williams with some beautiful moves to get positive yardage by two scores. Kenny Hill fires incomplete. And he tries. Hill throws, Niederhofer lost it, and it's picked off, intercepted by Richie Brown. Brown brings it back into Texas A&M territory. Pass. They're going to run the ball, and there's nothing for Brandon Williams, swallowed by big Chris Jones. In the tackles. Hill will throw now, pressure coming, and Hill's pass is intercepted again. And guess who it is? It's right. Two on the clock, plenty of time for Texas A&M to go the length of the field. Trey Carson. Oh, man, what a play by McKinney. Matt, they're, they're up to the task. Hill has thrown interceptions on consecutive possessions, finds Seals Jones, who's receiver in the SEC. He was short, so it's third and one. Kenny Hill gets the first down. Took a lick, though, if he got the big guy in the middle at 250. Hill 
A short throw to Pope. He breaks a tackle. Stays in bounds at the 45-yard line. And tackled at the 40s. Four-man rush. Hill's pass is caught by Seals Jones. He stepped out. Wide open is Speedy Noyle inside the 35-yard line. Brought down at the 30-yard line of Mississippi State. Pressure coming. Hill steps up, has a running lane, cuts it back inside the 20. And Hill to the 16-yard line in seven or eight seconds here. Hill throws a fade to Noyle. It's caught. There's a flag down. He was out of bounds. 18 seconds left. Mississippi State dialing up pressure. Hill's pass is caught. Niederhofer tackled inbounds. Here they come. A fade to the end zone. And again, overthrown. Josh Reynolds. He it could be several, actually. Kenny Hill to throw on first down. And a missed tackle as Seals Jones is free. Spins out of a tackle attempt at the 30 as well. Pushed out, out of the empty set. Hill moving to his right, facing pressure. And drilled back at the 20. Along with Ryan Brown. Maybe the biggest surprise, or not even a surprise, but factor in this game has been the pressure on Kenny Hill from this Mississippi State defensive line. Everybody's been talking of seven on third down. And it's a quarterback run. Hill tackled at the 30. Good. Brandon Williams gets the carry. And up to the 25. Second down. Hill looking downfield. And a diving catch made from the 39. A dangerous throw there as Niederhofer lost the ball. Story. Kenny Hill on second down. Over the middle. Incomplete. Almost picked off again on a redirect. Hill incomplete another drop. This one teams aren't as strong, but we saw Tennessee last week. That's a team on the rise. Trey Carson brought down for a loss of one. Played it right now, guys. On second and 12. Hill has a completion to Josh Reynolds. Thrown down to the cliff, but and that's got to be a flag. Here it comes. Niederhofer was mugged. Hoffer got underneath him. It's a good call there. You know, every team's going to have adversity in the course of a season in Texas. Hill to throw. And a short pass. Caught by Sabian Holmes. And he's driven to the ground after a game of one. Any big routes down the field. Hill rolling out. And open in the middle of the field is Holmes for a first down. Inside the 40 and cut down around the 36. See, they're going to move the pocket here. Under duress there. He's not going to lose confidence. That's the one thing that we know about Kenny Hill. He's going to continue to take those shots. And they're, they're going to run it here. And there's nothing. Trey Williams pushed back. Game of one. Them to a field goal. Aggies need six. Hill throwing deep and... It's dropped again at the 15 yard instead of having the ball inside the 15 yard line. Open in the middle of the field is Niederhofer. Oh boy, he got smoked, but somehow. Because he ran through the zone. Here Seals Jones out on the flat, and he gets tag team to the ground there. That bubble screen tackle from the corner spot. Second and 10. Hill, and that ball is pulled in. Oh, a touchdown! Mississippi State after AM and led 7 nothing. We get good yardage here though on first down with Trey Carson on this one. With Auburn coming here next week. Carson gets the first down of the 18 against the Tide today. Hill throws and another drop. Niederhoff, great job against the pass. Hill in trouble. Gets out of there and looks to run. And dives to the 24-yard line. And wide open is Seals Jones up past the 35. Good tackle by Rick. Run play here in the final seconds. And a huge hit as Trey Williams is dumped. <laughs> and then down 24 as the quarter begins. Hill stepping up, firing deep, single coverage, overthrown. First time the entire game. Hill going to throw deep again for Noyle, and this one is caught. What a beautiful grab by Noyle inside the sophomore. Kenny Hill, another drop. Pope had that one go through. 
Hill flushed out of the pocket in trouble, and down he goes. Sack at the 26 by A.J. They're still going strong. Six tackles for a loss for Mississippi State. The screen to Carson. He's got room. Tackled short of the first down, and he's got to go. Hill steps up and throws a pick. Ricky Brown having the game of his life. Third interception for Richie Brown today. And I think the look is going to be great pressure. Richie Brown should take the defensive line out for a steak dinner because he's had three interceptions <laughs> thrown right to him, and they're all been because they've gotten pressure on Kenny. And he does have two touchdown passes and a lot of drops by receivers. This one is caught by Taboyo and got about eight yards. Crowd that looks at them a lot differently than they have in the past. Hill in trouble, brought down to the 20-yard line. It'll be third down. I don't see a whole lot of individuals on this team either, which is a good thing. They get the first down here with Williams. He's loose across the 40-yard line into Mississippi State territory. And finally run out of bounds inside the 32. Hill, look out. Sacked at the 45. Every state team that knows how to get to the passer. You know, you think about this defense. They return just about everybody on board. Hill on second down and 20. Incomplete. Third down. Third down and 20. Going to throw deep here. Overshot. Maybe fourth down. They missed today. Correct? Yes. And what about Auburn? Does that mean Auburn's going to lose one? Well, we've seen Auburn a couple times this year. Seals Jones on the catch. And right at the first down, Mossy C. And they're having trouble today. you got a first rounder with left tackle and maybe one a high draft pick at center as Trey Carson gets loose. Carson inside the 20 yard line. They're running hard. Dropped inside the 15. Only having a bye week. You have to win on the road. To the end zone, overthrown. Giving up 559 total yards. Josh Reynolds fighting. And again, AM. <laughs> I don't know why we're picking Final Fours as that pass is incomplete. Picking Final Fours. And they bring pressure, but a great pass by Hill, and Speedy Noyle hangs on. It'll be a good one. Kenny Hill on first down. And. Ah, the ball came out there. No. Carson on the run, brought down short for the first play. They all miss and at Alabama on the 18th of October. Niederhagen, another unbeaten team next week at Ole Miss, pending the outcome, obviously, against Bama. Up high to make the catch is Reynolds for a touchdown.